Liquid light shows or psychedelic light shows are a form of light art that surfaced in the early 1960s as accompaniment to electronic music and avant-garde theater performances. They were later adapted for performances of rock or psychedelic music. Leading names included the Joshua Light Show, Joe's Lights, Sensefex located in NY, Tony Martin SF, NYC, Elias Romero SF, Mike Leonard Lights for Pink Floyd UK, The Heavy Water Light Show, Mark Boyle's Lights, Joan Hill UK, Limbic System Mark Hanau UK, Glenn McKay's Headlights, The Pig Light Show NY, Lights by Pablo NY, The Brother Brotherhood of Light SF, Little Princess 109 SF, LSD, Ed's Amazing Liquid Light Show, Abercromb Lights SF, and the Single Wing Turquoise Bird Light Show. California. Sector Alberto Zanotti and Anna Patti Italy. Topic. Brief history Liquid light shows surfaced on both sides of the Atlantic around 1966 and were an integral part of the progressive music scene well into the 70s. Shows could be as simple as a single operator and two or three modified slides or overhead projectors and a couple of color wheels or as complex as shows with 10 or more operators, 70 plus projectors including liquid slide, liquid overhead, movie and still image models plus a vast array of highly advanced for the time special effects equipment. The style and content of each show were unique but the object of most was to create a tapestry of multimedia live event visual amplification elements that were seamlessly interwoven, in a constant state of flux and above all, reflected the music the show was attempting to depict in emotional visual terms. While the shows on both sides of the Atlantic had much in common they differed in two important ways. First, the American shows tended to be larger, with seven operators and over 30 projectors not being exceptional. In contrast, the shows in England seldom had more than three operators and ten or so projectors. Second, American shows were generally built around the overhead projector with the liquids in large clock cover glasses. Shows in England and Europe, in contrast, used modified 2 inches square slide projectors which had their dichroic heat filters one or both removed and employed two layers of slide cover glasses with two liquids oil and water based, in the early days between each layer. Alternatively different colored water-based dyes were used in each layer, which slowly boiled producing pulsing vapor bubbles when exposed to the heat of the projector lamp with the heat filters removed. Consequently, randomly pulsing and moving blobs of color were projected on the screen creating the light show. Before the projected layers totally dried out a new slide would be switched in the projector slide holder, meanwhile the old glass would be removed, cleaned and refurbished with new dyes and the projection process would continue. The surface tension of the liquids largely retained the mixtures between the glass slides, but the process was nevertheless very messy indeed and operators had their hands almost permanently stained by the dyes. A popular choice of colored liquids for light shows was Flow Master Ink, a product developed for use in permanent marker pens. While this ink was very vivid it also had the problem of staining the operator's hands very deeply. Two groups that are associated with the light shows they worked with above all others are Jefferson Airplane and the Headlights Light Show in America and Pink Floyd with light artist Mike Leonard in England. <laughs> <laughs> Leading shows Light Sound Dimension LSD was possibly the first psychedelic light show and was operated by Bill Ham. 
Ham pioneered kinetic lighting and actually used this technique at the Red Dog Saloon back in 1965. It was also at the Red Dog Saloon where Chet Helms first met Bill and asked him to produce light shows at the Avalon Ballroom, the Joshua Light Show, also known as Joe's Lights and Sensefex, located in New York, was founded by a filmmaker called Joshua White. The show was the House Light Show at Bill Graham's Fillmore East for almost its entire existence. Formed from a lighting company called Sensefex which had been started by Joshua White, Thomas Shoesmith and Bill Schwartzbach, they moved to the Fillmore and became the Joshua Light Show. Cecily Jaffe at that time Cecily Hoyt had now joined the team. Later they changed their name to Joe's Lights having parted company with Joshua White. A video of Joshua White at work showing how some of the effects were achieved can be found here. Brotherhood of Light SF was formed in 1968 as a collective group of lighting and multimedia specialists. Brian Epps, brother Ed Langdon, Marcus Maximist and Bob Pullum gathered for the purpose of visually enhancing and augmenting the psychedelic music of the day. Unlike standard stage lighting, which was generally static and non-interactive, Brotherhood of Light utilized liquid dyes, overhead projectors, color wheels, slide projection and 16mm film to produce not just a light show, but a live multi-sensory musical experience. The show performed at San Francisco's Winterland Ballroom and Fillmore West with such classic acts as the Jimi Hendrix Experience, The Doors, Led Zeppelin, Traffic, Ike and Tina Turner, B.B. King, Crosby, Stills and Nash, Janis Joplin, Credence Clearwater Revival, The Who, Santana, The Grateful Dead and the Allman Brothers Band. On a typical night in 1970 you could see, The Birds, Fleetwood Mac and John Hammond with Brotherhood of Light providing visuals for all three bands or on a night later that year, Joe Cocker, Leon Russell and Van Morrison. They also performed at the Grateful Dead New Year's Eve shows at Winterland. The Holy See SF was formed by Ray Anderson who had been a manager at The Matrix and his wife Joan Anderson with the help of their friend John Blackwell and his wife. Their vivid light shows were a staple during the psychedelic music heyday and they did light shows usually at the Fillmore for such bands the Jimi Hendrix Experience, Pink Floyd, The Doors, Ike and Tina Turner, The Grateful Dead, Big Brother and The Holding Company, Jefferson Airplane, It's a Beautiful Day, Yardbirds and many more. We used about 15 to 20 projectors simultaneously in an evening. Ray Anderson stated, We used overhead projectors and color wheels, strobes, clock faces, and dishes in various sizes. We mixed dyes, liquids, and oils and manipulated them. We used as many as a dozen carousel slide projectors or other slide projectors and as many as five movie projectors that would run either reels or loops. We used everything, you really had to work the limit." Ray also went to England to do lights for the Carnival of Light in 1967 featuring Paul McCartney. The Heavy Water Light Show Mary Ann Mayer, Joan Chase and John Hardham, SF, did shows and album covers for Santana, The Jefferson Airplane and The Grateful Dead before moving into planetariums in the 1970s. The cover of the LP Santana 3 is an image or set of images from their show. Their work is characterized by extensive use of photographs and film sequences in addition to psychedelic oil effects. Mark Boyle Light Show. United Kingdom. Personnel: Mark Boyle, Joan Hills, Day Bonner, Cameron Hills. Born in Glasgow in 1934, Mark was already producing art in many forms such as paintings, installations and sculptures and had many exhibitions in Edinburgh, Glasgow and London prior to getting involved with light shows. 
In 1966, Mark Boyles, the son at Lumineer for Earth, Air, Fire and Water ran at the Cochrane Theatre, London, closely followed by the son at Lumineer for Insects, Reptiles and Water Creatures and the son at Lumineer for Bodily Fluids and Functions. These events were groundbreaking in respect of projected lighting and consisted of chemical and physical reactions projected onto a screen whilst being surrounded by various taped sounds. Elements of this light show evolved and performances were made at the legendary UFO Club in London's Tottenham Court Road. Later that year he formed the Sensual Laboratory with Joan Hills, who would later become his wife. In 1967 the first of many collaborations started with The Soft Machine, with shows at the Edinburgh Festival and in the Netherlands and France. Also in 1967 Liquid Light Environments ran at the UFO throughout the year. During 1967 Mark invented and patented a machine with a light-sensitive screen that could do three-color separation on anything that was projected onto it and turn it into sounds, i.e. one color would create one type of sound and another color would create a totally different sound. Concerts with the soft machine followed in the Netherlands and again in France as well as work on the structure of dreams at the Arts Lab, London. Intergalactic light shows by Moose and Collinis in Detroit at the Grande Ballroom and Eastdown Theatre. They supplied specially built projectors to other light show artists, and had over two dozen different projected effects, and were first to introduce the helium neon laser to the art. In 1968, the Sensual Laboratory toured in the USA and Canada with Soft Machine and Jimi Hendrix, as well as staging a controversial production at London's Roundhouse Bodily Fluids and Functions. This consisted of a couple copulating on stage whilst being wired up to ECG and EEG which were projected from closed-circuit TV onto a huge screen. With heartbeats and brainwaves on display, every second of the experience was shared by the audience. Also in 1968 was the liquid light environment produced for the opening of the ICA Institute of Contemporary Arts in London. Glenn McKay's Headlights performed many shows with Jefferson Airplane, as well as with The Grateful Dead, and later staged shows at the Whitney Museum in New York in 1968 and in 1999 at the San Francisco Museum of Modern Art. McKay is also a painter and photographer. The Pig Light Show Saint Elmo's Fire, started by Mark L. Rubinstein in 1965 as Saint Elmo's Fire. The name was changed after, in his own words, a strange episode having to do with a Mothers of Invention concert at the Garrick Theatre in the village, which resulted in Mark being given the local nickname Pig, and the light show was known as Pig's Light Show. The first pig light show was at the Fillmore East under the direction of Mark L. Rubinstein with Larry Weeder on reflectives, Patrick Waters on liquids, Mark Miller at the controls and in charge of slides. Later they were joined for a while by Joe Lipton, Marvin Chains, Sandy Frank, Robert Cohen, who had had a show called London Lights. The single wing turquoise bird lightshow troupe worked in Los Angeles and Venice, California. Famous for their wide screen lightshows at the Shrine Exposition Hall in Los Angeles in 1967 and 1968, and later for their series of evocative multimedia performances at various venues, most notably in the Cumberland Mountain Film Company studio in the loft above the Fox Venice Theatre, 1970-1975. They did light shows for the Chambers Brothers, Velvet Underground, Grateful Dead, Big Brother and the Holding Company, Pacific Gas and Electric, Steve Miller Band, Taj Mahal, Dr. John, Sons of Champlin, B.B. King, The Yardbirds, Pinnacle, Traffic, and Quicksilver Messenger Service. Elias Romero light shows featured Elias Romero and Ray Anderson, who was also the manager of The Matrix at the time. 
Although he never went on to work the ballrooms, Romero was a longtime light artist with his own distinct approach utilizing a unique, all-liquid show. Famous shows include the 9th of March 1966 Big Brother and the Holding Company show at the Firehouse, 3763 Sacramento Street, San Francisco. Lights by Pablo are best remembered for the Liberation News Service benefit at the Hotel Diplomat in NYC in May 1969. The concert featured the MC5 Motor City 5, Little Princess 109 became the house light show for Bill Graham Presents in 1968. Little Princess 109 worked at Fillmore West and Winterland continuously from December 1968 until Fillmore West closed in July 1971. According to the records of the Bill Graham Presents archives, they worked for Graham longer than any other light show, and performed more nights of light than any show for the entire Fillmore, Fillmore West, Winterland period. Tony Martin began providing a visual component to avant garde electronic music performances of the San Francisco Tape Music Center, and later mounted the first Fillmore West light show, Electric Circus, NYC Design and Performance. Form 1967-70, 2010, Lightshow at the Boiler, NYC. Abercromb Lights were formed in 1966 and did many shows at Bill Graham's Fillmore Auditorium. The man behind it all is George Holden, who is still very much a key player on the Bay Area lighting scene. Abercromb Lights lit most of the SF bands over the years including The Grateful Dead, Country Joe and The Fish and Jefferson Starship. Liquid Light Lab is a contemporary psychedelic light show, active in the United States. It is the work of Steve Pavlovsky, an artist and musician from New York City. Liquid Light Lab began projecting in 2008, has performed hundreds of shows and worked on numerous music videos and art installations. Notable collaborations include work with Columbia Records, Sony Music Group, High Maintenance on HBO, and Alex Gray's COSM. Accompanied musicians have included the 13th Floor Elevators, Joe Russo's Almost Dead, The Zombies, Gene Ween, The War on Drugs, Rokey Erickson, and the John Spencer Blues Explosion, The New Riders of the Purple Sage, and Antibalas. Steve Pavlovsky, Liquid Light Lab is also notable for producing tutorial videos on liquid light shows, maintaining a light show history blog, and offering art supplies to other artists. Ed's Amazing Liquid Light Show 2012 is a young artist collaboration based in Amsterdam. Ed's Amazing Liquid Light's core businesses are, performing liquid light shows, making liquid light videos for various purposes and producing liquid light art. Liquid light art is the art of shooting, editing and presenting stills from a liquid light show in high definition. Diogenes Lantern works a classic liquid light show was provided at Chet Helms Avalon Ballroom, San Francisco, Denver Dog, Family Dog in Denver in 1967. Topic: See also VJ Video Performance Artist